So the reason why I put honey is to um, hopefully stop, stop them from destroying beehives by providing them food. These guys here, looks like they, they're stuck. They can't fly, can they? Their uh, wings are deformed. Look at their wings there. No longer can fly. But they sure want to try to. Oh, this guy here. I'm trying to. That's a virus, or they're old. Her wing's deformed. She may have deformed wing virus. Not sure. Interesting. Could be old. Now these are the young ones. These are ones flying around. This one, like this one here, little bulldog. I call them the little bulldogs. Ultimately, uh, they're very aggressive. They're young. They're like teenagers. They want to prove themselves. We don't need this anymore since rainy season now is over. Trying to sting me best they can. So aggressive, she just launched herself at me with no ability to get back in her hive. All she wants to do is sting the crap out of me. She's probably on me now. There she is. You can hear that clicking sound. That clicking sound is basically warning. No, other hornets don't do it. This is kind of unique to the to the Osuzumevachi or the sparrow hornets. So. I've inspected this hive. I've put feeder honey out in the feeders. Hopefully that will keep them from attacking other hives. And my work's done for the day. Now we're filming this hive and I built the door here in order to get access to it. But this hive is gonna be used in a documentary um, and I'm basically, you know, like a hornet keeper. <laughs> I'm a giant hornet keeper. So, um, and uh, ultimately what we want to capture is that next stage, which is the males, which should be coming out soon, 
the, the, the new queen's mating and uh, catch this really amazing behavior. And they're still attacking me, as you can see, flying around. I'm wearing glasses to prevent them from misting their, their spray into my eyes. This is not the right kind of helmet, and I actually have two suits on. I have a second suit that's actually covering the entrance so they can't get up under. I had a recent experience where actually a yellow jacket got up under into my helmet. Didn't sting me, luckily, but it was enough to me to realize, you know what, I gotta be careful. So I'll let these girls go back to what they're doing, and I'm taking off. And you can see them following me. Ah, she's found the honey. So I've left that bottle there so they can go in. You know what, I'm gonna put a stick. So they can find their way out. a lot of energy to move their little bodies and giant hornets can't digest other food look at this guy still trying to sting me right here little bulldog Those girls have the right idea. You know, I wonder if you could time and figure out how much energy this little girl is spending and how long is she going to be able to keep it up until she wears out. You know, I'm keeping her aggravated by just wiggling this little black thing. That's what I'm doing here. Hopefully, and it's enough to keep her like, she's not attacking. She's looking like, thinking I'm gonna attack her. I'm trying to be the more aggressive one. She's got her, man her mandibles out. She's trying to get a position around me That's enough for playing. <laughs> show, show who's boss. Come here. <laughs> that was enough. She's gone home. <laughs> she don't want to play anymore. You can, you can actually 
beat them off like that. It's kind of like spanking, you know, like giving a dog a swat and they'll go with their, tuck their tails between their legs and head on out of here. Oh, and all those chestnuts you got out of here. Enjoy it. This is a farmer's land. 